In this example, we're going to take our designs and have it translated from AI into code using cursor. And I'm really excited about this feature because it just makes it so easy. I do enjoy using other uh, tools um, and I haven't really used Figma that much lately because I have been mainly just building uh, with Copilot and other tools like that and cursor. So this is a little bit different and I, I'm excited though to try Figma with cursor and see how it works. For all the Figma designers out there that just love Figma and want to stick to Figma. Uh, but there are a lot of great other platforms that you can try out too. So let's get into it. I'm going to show you really quickly in five minutes to take your designs to cursor, how to set up the MCP, which is uh, really easy to do. So let's get into it. The cursor application, you're going to go to MPC tools and you're going to click add custom MPC and then on Figma you're going to copy paste this snippet and then you're going to put it here on the .json file and we're going to go to Figma and we're going to search MCP in the toolbar. Another option is to go to the top and select preferences and then check enable dev mode mcp server so you have two ways to turn it on and then you want to go into dev mode in the toolbar and then select the figma file that you want and then you would want to control click and copy link to selection and then here we're going to copy paste the link into cursor and we're going to ask it to create a design and you can get really clear. You can even say what type of code you want, if it's TypeScript, or HTML, or any type. Then I'm going to run tool and it will generate all the code. And it'll ask me if I want it asks me how I want to set it up, if I want it to connect it to a local project or uh, extract variables. So there's like a lot of different options to choose from. So I just asked for plain old vanilla CSS and then it created the files for me. So then it says, uh, your account has been saved as the createaccount.jsx file. And then we can compare side by side how it copied the design file from Figma and we can see they're pretty similar. There's probably a little bit more tweaking to do, but this is really quick and you can definitely iterate on the design and work directly in cursor instead of Figma. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I love making these videos when I have time. I love to catch everyone up on the latest trends and new tools and AI tools. So comment below if you enjoyed this video. If you have any other types of videos you want me to cover, just let me know and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.